all the greatest athletes in the world have always talked about accessing just a pure mind state. And this is why jiu-jitsu practitioners and other athletes use cannabis. This environment is pretty cool, just smoking a little JJ with my opponent. This is the High Rollers BJJ Tournament. Cannabis infused jiu-jitsu. All competitors will be consuming cannabis before their match and they'll be competing to win a pound of cannabis per division. Blue, purple, brown, black belt, and then we have a main event. 16 man elimination, submission only. You smoke weed, you stretch, you warm up, you go, oh, I'm ready. Oh yeah, 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 I'm about to hit the mat. Slap hands, bump fists. You know what I mean? That is amazing. Who doesn't want to compete high? You want to do everything high, and you're allowed to do it here. You have to do it here. There's a lot of competitors, 66 guys competing, all of whom are super pumped up. They want the prize, they want the pound, and they all roll high, you know, so this is not unusual to them. We're using EBI rules. Eddie Bravo is the OG. I'm Eddie Bravo, founder of 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. I'm here helping out the High Rollers Tournament, the grand prize. Uh, used to put, get you put in jail. Now it's a grand prize, a pound of weed. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Everybody is affected differently by marijuana, but for me, it just in, increases whatever I'm feeling. So if I'm gonna do something and be nervous, it's gonna make it way worse. But if I'm gonna do something with confidence, then you smoke it and then your confidence shoots through the roof. Right? That's how it works. That's, it's like white magic and black magic. It's not good or bad. It's whatever you make it. I hope to destigmatize cannabis and show the top level athletes can smoke, step on a mat, and really honor the art of jiu jitsu. I feel like uh, High Rollers is definitely activism. I'm hoping this event changes the perception of the masses in general. I'd say 90% of the active ro rosters of UFC and Bellator use cannabis, and consistently, not just, hey, I'll smoke a joint every now and then. And then just the athletes in general. If you look at Michael Phelps, he hit a bong and he lost millions, and, and that's it. I don't know if he smokes anymore, but he's definitely not promoting it. Right here, right here, yeah. Uh, the best example of an athlete who has worn the repercussions of the cannabis ban within sports would be Nick Diaz. He's the most prominent example. Three suspensions, five years collectively of not fighting, hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, collectively in fines. No main brands will endorse him, or, you know, so it's, it's repercussions everywhere. Sports and cannabis is very controversial but it also correlates to lack of education. I think that more sports should look into cannabis as a secondary form of therapy for athletes because opioids does slow them down and creates addiction and also leaves them uh, with addiction problems post-career. My name is Joe Schilling. I'm the uh, number one American kickboxer of all time. Merging the two worlds of cannabis and martial arts is something that Matt's been working on for a long time. And, uh, I've used cannabis my whole career. And, uh, yeah, I think cannabis is a good alternative to a lot of medications and, and supplements and stuff that's starting to help you for you. And it's, it's not a form of sanitizing drug. It's not an addictive drug. It's not so many things that it's spraying it out to be. So, uh, yeah, I think this, it's, it's changing all the time. It's just one more step toward that. Jiu-Jitsu is super badass. It's a deadly art designed to maim or kill somebody and attack it. That, those are the techniques, that's where they end. To see somebody just be able to use technique, not body size, and get beyond the fear of an altercation happening, you know, it changes the way I think people act in, in, in general across the board. Everything changes when you understand you're comfortable in all situations.
Smoking before competing was, like, I guess, weird, like, a little different, I guess, you know. I was really nervous for this. I was, like, surprisingly nervous uh, backstage. Like, smoking the joint was, like, almost like a, something you had to do, and it was, uh, it was weird. It was good, though. It was a real cool experience, and uh, it was positive. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Run and that, run that. We etched the High Rollers logo as a trophy. I have more stuff coming to you. What'd you think? Hey, you know what? It was an opportunity like no other, man. It's, you just, I've never been into a tournament with this type of vibe. And then just to be able to get here and just being able to vibe out with your opponent. And this is a hell of opportunity. That's This is what's going to keep me coming back. You know, cannabis and BJJ is like peanut butter and jelly. I don't care what nobody says. It goes hand in hand. You know, we can be out of here taking pain pills. Would I rather go smoke a joint and go roll and get all my stress out? Absolutely. After I'm going, I'm not taking no ibuprofen. I'm going to smoke a blunt with the same guys that finished choking me out. This is martial arts, man. This is let the better man win. And it's, I won today, so I am the better man. I am the champion. the room where we are uh, warming up you know you can see my opponent right there Jeff Glover this event is historic unprecedented it's the first time um, I can actually sit here and smoke a joint to help deal with my anxiety and my nerves going into this match not only that um, you know I got to smoke a joint with the guy I'm gonna scrap so we got to have the peace pipe smoke and now we're gonna go out and have an awesome match and I think that's beautiful about jiu-jitsu. I've been doing this for 20 years now, and I've been doing tournaments the whole time. And this one definitely takes the cake. And um, I'm, like I said, I'm happy to be a part. Nick Diaz is here, you know what I'm saying? This is great, man. Yeah, man, I'm the first stoner king. I was saying this is probably the coolest belt you can win in a grappling event. The pound of weed makes it even better. Georgie and I agreed before the match we would split the pound. 70% winner, 30% to the loser. Just, I figure it's like in the spirit of the event itself. We're just all sharing weed and having a good time. And the crowd enjoyment factor, this is a very unbored crowd. People at jiu-jitsu tournaments tend to get bored a lot. I mean. This is really, I, I can go on and on and on. This is a great event, man. And like I said, I'm happy to be the first champ. What's going on? How are you? It's pretty fucking dope. Man. Yeah, it's great. Palmer, what's up, man? How are you? Our intention is to have another event inside the next half year. We're hoping three, four months out, make it a little larger and, and, and just much more developed. Super dope. Same. Look at that. One take. I think the next uh, high roller event, I'm definitely going to be all over Matt trying to do a kickboxing event. And uh, you know, I think we can do it very soon. It'll be the next, just like this with kickboxing. And uh, continue to merge the worlds of combat sports and cannabis. <laughs>